Welcome back. Bowen Bourne had a magical night against rival Pella this past Friday, but as Matt McCulloch explains, it was a bittersweet performance when they carried a little extra motivation. Crowd is into it. It was super yeah. loud. Fans poured into the Norwalk Gymnasium Friday night, ready to take in the biggest game of the year between Norwalk and Pella. It was a top five matchup in 3A with first place implications in the Little Hawkeye Conference. Obviously, you know, to play them um, in your home gym, it kind of gives you another extra, like, energy boost. It was the kind of boost that Bowen Bourne would need after some tough news. He was really emotional. It had been a long week for him um, with the passing of his grandfather and just for his family. Bourne's grandfather, Gene Kling, the all-time winningest girls basketball coach in Iowa history, passed away Wednesday and was to be laid to rest on Saturday, the day after the Pella game. I just felt like he was there watching, and so um, it was definitely pretty meaningful and a pretty cool deal. As the game wore on, the points kept adding up for Bourne. I looked up and I turned to one of our coaches and I said, he has 41? And uh, they're like, yeah. My teammates kept getting me open and, and finding me on my shots, and I was hitting them, so um, obviously it felt good. Um, all my shots felt good, and a lot of them went in. Bourne finished with 47 points a Norwalk school record. I found out in the locker room after the game, um, and my coach had told me that it was a new school record. But this story has another layer. I didn't realize it was his great-grandfather until the day afterwards, um, but what a neat little subplot to the whole thing. The old record of 45 points in a game was set by Jack Lane in 1956. Jack's great-grandson, Nate Lane, is Bourne's friend and teammate. My dad texted me the other day, and. He's like, oh yeah, your great-grandpa uh, Bo Bowen broke the record, so you know, I thought it was kind of cool. I just found out about that today, too. Um, he had told me in Spanish class, so um, that was definitely a pretty cool deal, and obviously it's a, a record that had been there for a while. Now Bourne's name is etched into Norwalk school history. If anybody's going to beat that record, I'd have it be him, you know, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. It was a week of ups and downs for Bowen Bourne, but a record in honor of his grandfather <laughs> that will last for years. In Norwalk, Matt McCulloch, Local 5 Sports, we are Iowa.